Welcome back. If you've already viewed the solving word problems videos or solving equation videos, um, you, you might recall me talking about the importance of checking our solutions. And this is actually so important that we want to do a couple videos on this just to get some practice on it. Because if we check our solutions, we can actually, we can actually assure ourselves that we never get an equation wrong. Because um, we can always substitute back into our original equation and check that the solution is indeed valid. So we want to practice this. Let's do a few examples. Let's say we want to check that the solution x equals 1 over 5 is the, the solution to the following equation. Following equation, we have 2x plus 4 equals 5 minus 3x. Now, we want to find out that 1 over 5 is the solution for this equation. So how do we do that? How do we check that? What we do is we substitute in 1 over 5 as the value for the variable. So everywhere we see x, we're going to put a 1 over 5. So let's do this. We have 2 times x, which is 1 over 5. Be sure to put it in parentheses so we know we're substituting in. Plus 4 equals 5 minus 3 times x, which x is 1 over 5. Okay, and we're going to apply the arithmetic operations on both sides. And if this holds true, if this equation, if this side equals this side, then we know that this value is indeed a valid solution for this equation. So let's go ahead and work this out. Uh, 2 times 1 over 5 is 2 over 5. We have our plus 4. And on this side, we have 5 minus 3 times 1 over 5 is 3 over 5. All right, let's go ahead and rewrite this over a common denominator. Um, 2 fifths plus 4. Um, we can rewrite 4 as 20 over 5. And on this side, um, we want to re rewrite 5 with a common denominator of 5 so we can subtract these rational numbers. Um, we can rewrite 5 as 25 over 5, and we have our minus 3 over 5. Um, if you're wondering how we did this, go back and uh, re review the, uh, the videos on adding and subtracting rational numbers, and uh, just for a quick refresher on how to get a common denominator. Moving on, we have 2 fifths plus 20 over 5 is 22 over 5. 25 over 5 minus 3 over 5 is 22 over 5. This checks out, which means that this solution is indeed the valid solution for this equation. Okay, so very important that we get some practice on this, because this can assure ourselves that um, we actually never get an equation wrong. Okay, let's do a few more of these. Let's say we want to check that the solution x equals a minus 11 over 5. We want to check that this is indeed the solution for the equation 4x 4x plus 2 equals minus x minus 9. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we everywhere we see x in our equation, we're going to plug in the value for x that we're supposing the solution is. So let's do that. We have 4 times x. x is a minus 11 over 5. Um, it really helps using the parentheses, especially when we have negative numbers, so we're separating our signs here so we don't get confused. Otherwise, they would just run together. Um, we have our plus 2, and on this side, we have a minus. x is a minus 11 over 5. Let's be careful with our signs here. We have a minus x, and x is a negative, so we have minus a negative, and we have our minus 9. Okay? We're multiplying rational numbers here, so we have 4 times a minus 11 over 5, which is minus 44 over 5, plus 2, equals, we can cancel these minus signs out, so we just have a positive 11 over 5, and rewrite our minus 9. We just cancel these two negatives out and made it a positive 11 over 5. Okay. Um, we can actually go ahead and first rewrite over a common denominator. We have minus 44 over 5 plus um, 2 is the same as 10 over 5. So now that we have a common denominator here, we can easily deal with that. 
rewrite 11 over 5 minus, well, 9 is the same thing as 45 over 5. Okay, so we just rewrote these two numbers as rational numbers with common denominators. So in this step, we can actually um, add and subtract right across. All right, we have a minus 44 over 5 and a positive 10 over 5. The negative wins out, and we have a negative 34 over 5. And on this side, um, we have plus a negative. So we have 11 over 5 plus a negative 44, 45 over over 5, which gives us a negative 34 over 5. They're both negatives and they're both rational numbers, but this actually checks out. So indeed, minus 11 over 5 is the valid solution for our given equation. Okay, let's do a few more of these. Can never have too much practice on checking our solutions. Let's say we want to check the following solution. We have y equals a minus 1 and we want to see if this is the valid solution for the following equation. We have y plus 6y equals minus 5 plus 2y. Okay, so we want to find out if this is the solution for this equation. So let's go ahead and plug in minus 1 everywhere we see y. So we have y out front, minus 1, plus 6 times y, which is a minus 1 equals minus 5 plus 2 times a y, which is minus 1. And we can go ahead and do the arithmetic. We have minus 1 plus a negative 6. 6 times a minus 1 is a minus 6. We have minus 5 plus 2 times a minus 1 is a minus 2. Minus 1 plus a minus 6 is a minus 7. And minus 5 plus a minus 2 is a minus 7. This checks out. That means minus 1 is a valid solution for our equation. So our answer checks out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, go, ahead and do, let's go ahead and do one more. I think we have time for one more. Let's say we want to check the value for z equals 2. We want to see if this is the valid solution for the equation 6 minus 2z equals z. Okay, so everywhere we see z, we're going to plug in 2. So we have 6 minus 2 times z, which is 2, equals z, which is 2. We write our 6 minus 2. 2 times 2 is 4 equals 2. And 6 minus 4 is 2. And we have 2 on the other side, which checks out. Okay. Uh, we're out of time, but let's review what we learned real quick. Um, we're just actually trying to drive home the importance of uh, checking our solutions. Earlier in, in uh, previous videos, we found the solutions to some equations. And then we, we learned that checking our answer by plugging in our solution to our original equation, we can guarantee ourselves that um, we have the correct answer. So we'll do some more uh, exercises on this um, just to drive it home. Um, I'll see you soon.